Yo, welcome back everybody to a brand new Pokemon TC Live Twilight Masquerade deck video, and today I'm going to be playing a deck that I have gotten a ton of requests to try out, and that is of course going to be Greninja EX with Frostlass. Now, like I said, a lot of people have asked me to try this deck out, and I've already done a video on Greninja EX. We tried it originally with Pidgeot EX, which seems to be pretty decent, but the other common and most popular way, in my opinion, to play the Greninja right now is actually going to be pairing it with the new Twilight Masquerade Frostlass. Now, it does have that really cool ability, Freezing Shroud. During a Pokemon checkup, you put one damage counter on each Pokemon in play. That has an ability, both yours and your opponents, except for the, any of your Frostlasses. So, basically, Frostlass is not affected itself, but it gets hit every other Pokemon with an ability, and that does apply to a lot of Pokemon. Tassigiri, Manaphy, Comfy, Pidgeot, Dracloak, Bibarel, Rodom, Luminion, Squawkabilly, Mew, Teal Mask, Ogre Pond, just to name a few. Now, I think the big thing that Frostlass actually does for you is it actually sets up damage on Manaphy. Now, of course, Greninja EX is a very powerful card. It's got that fighting type of Terra type, which is really good. Really good against Iron Hands, which is pretty popular. Really good against Maridon. Good against Blissey and Arceus. But the main trait is it's two attacks. You got Shinobi Blade for one Water Energy. Does 170 damage. You get a search deck for any card you want and put it into your hand. Really good if your opponent doesn't play that much Hand Disruption, no Ionos or anything. You can just constantly grab any card you want every turn. This can help you chain Greninjas. But then you have the other attack, Mirage Barrage. One of the greatest attack names ever for a Water and a Double Turbo. Discard two Energy from this Pokemon. And this attack does 100 120 damage to two of your opponent's Pokemon. So basically, it's a way to snipe the bench. It's very similar to the old Rapid Strike Urshifu. Now, of course, if your opponent were to put a Manaphy in play, you can't use Mirage Barrage to knock out stuff on the bench, which is a very, you know, crucial part about winning a game. But when you have Frostlass in play, you can apply extra damage and knock out Manaphy. Effectively, if you put three Frostlass in play over the course of like two turns, the Manaphy will get knocked out. And if ideally the Manaphy gets KO'd going into your turn with Freezing Shroud, this allows you to use Greninja pretty effectively. Also just allows you to do more damage in general. It makes Greninja do a little bit more damage to other tankier Pokemon, which is nice. Um, that's also another uh, benefit of playing Frost Lass, but it's really all about just crippling your opponent's setup the best you can with this duo. Now, before we get into the video, shout out to the sponsor, Card Cavern TCG. Of course, if you're going to get any Pokemon TCG Live packets, get them over at Card Cavern Card Cups. Let's go to line for the cheapest. So, if you're looking for, of course, the main set Twilight Masquerade, or you want to get an older set, or some IRL Pokemon TCG singles and product Card Cavern all that over there. If you get anything at Card Cavern at the checkout, use my discount code, code LDF, for a 5% discount on your order. Help the channel, help yourself out, and help a Card Cavern. So, big shout out to Card Cavern. Check them out. Use code LDF, link down below. Also, check out the second channel down below, too. I got a lot of NEIC preparation content going out on the second channel this week, so definitely check out the second channel link down below. So yeah, here is the Frostlass Greninja deck I'm cooking for today's video. I actually did build it on my live stream, on um, last live stream I did, and that's really fun to play. It's it's a lot of fun to just sit there and spam damage counters with Frostlass. Frostlass is a very satisfying card, I'm not gonna lie. Now, I am playing Rodom and Clef in the deck to help you set up a little bit. Um, you are a stage 2 deck at the end of the day. Now, some other uh, sneaky cards I've put in the deck. I am playing the other Greninja EX. There's actually two Greninjas in the format. Uh, <laughs> look at that. The promo Greninja does have a Torrential Slash, which for two water energy does 120 damage, and if your opponent's active already has damage on it, you do 120 more damage, effectively doing 250 damage, which, thanks to Frostlass, you can really add up the damage, so our Greninja can actually take big knockouts with the attack. It's really good at taking out big basics like Raging Bolt if that ever becomes a problem, and then, of course, we do have some other cards like the Hyper Roma. Really good in the deck to actually get Frostlass. I decided to play this as my ace spec. Just get three stage one Pokemon. You just put three snow runs in play and you can Hyper Roma for triple Frostlass. Um, you can also grab your Frogadier, which I guess is kind of cool too. I'm also playing Irida and Arvin to help the deck set up. Uh, we are playing Four Seal Stone, TM Devo. TM Devo is a must play within this deck since we can de-evolve Pidgeots and Charizards. The nice thing is, with all the Frostlass in play, the Pidgeots and Charizards on the bench are going to take a lot of extra damage so that you don't have to, you know, constantly gust stuff up and hit them with Greninja to Devo them. They're just naturally going to take a bunch of damage over time, and then you're going to be able to come in with a big TM Devo play, which is really nice. I got the one Turo. You can Turo heal your Greninja if you want, or you can also take Rotom off the board when you're done using it. Rotom, of course, does take damage from Frostlass, so you do have to keep that in mind. Another way I've seen a Greninja Frostlassy play is with TM Evolution. I definitely don't hate the idea of that. TM Evo does allow you to immediately put Frostlass down to apply a lot of extra damage right away. That definitely doesn't seem like a terrible option either. If you want to maybe try to fit some TM Evos in the deck, you could go down that route. It's not a terrible option. But let's go show Frostlass Greninja in action and see what it's all about. All right, get in this game. Are we up against Raging Bolt? Ooh, we're up against Charizard. That'll be an interesting matchup. All right, our opening hand isn't bad. We have Verkini Greninja and an S-Ball. 
Uh, getting Snow Run here would be nice. And oh, let's go. All right. This could be Charizard or Pidgey Control. But judging from like the Mulligan I saw, it looks like it's probably going to be um, Charizard. Just normal Charizard. So we'll grab a Snow Run. We'll Nest Ball for Rodom. Now just instant charge. That was a pretty good turn one. We got Rare Candy and Froakie. And Greninja. And a Frostbuff. This hand's really good. Hopefully we don't get Ionode. I mean, the thing is, they play Iono, they're not getting Arvin, so they're not setting up as well. So we'll have to see how it goes. But I think a lot of this matchup is going to come down to us abusing the power of um, TM Devolution if it's in the deck. Which I probably should have price checked to see if Devo is in there. But they do have an Ultra Ball here. They can grab themselves their own Rodon, maybe. They could grab Luminion and Iono me, of course. But again, if they're Iono and they're not Arvining, so their setup could be a lot weaker, right? They are grabbing the Minion, but that's another ability that gets to be in play, which is fine. Let's see. They got it. I mean, it's got to be an Iono, right? No, they're still grabbing Arvin. So they're letting me set up my board a little bit, which is good. Can Irida and, you know, we can chill. I am totally fine with this. The only downside is if I knock out the Rodom here. Oh, they're playing Team Evo. If I knock out the Pidgey this turn, then the Rodom can get killed by Charizard, which is a little awkward, but we'll see. We'll see how it plays out. My opponent will buddy buddy pop in. I didn't get energy down turn one, so unfortunately there is going to be no Mara. Oh, wait. Oh, it's Dragapult. All right. Never mind. It is not Charizard. It could be Charizard Dragapult, but it looks like it's just Dragapult. All right. Now I'm glad I'm killing this Pidgey then. Dragapult is not as... I mean, it's still a little scary, but not as... I don't know. Maybe it's not Charizard scary. Do they have the Forest Seal Stone for an energy? Damn. They could get Earthen Vessel. Kind of wish I had an energy turn one, but they got the mana fee down anyways. Wouldn't really have made a difference. Hmm. Okay, now this is actually troublesome. I guess if they have a Mela next turn, we're in trouble because they can get the rare candy. They can get Dragon pulled out next turn. They have Mela. That would actually be really bad. Now I'm kind of wishing I got more Frost Last in play or Snow Runs because now my Snow Runs might not even be able to get to get down because of the Dragon pulled. That was a good top deck. Okay. I mean, we have to grab the Snow Runs, right? We gotta get the little the snow runs down. Bench frost last, rare candy, Greninja. Gotta do what you gotta do. Can Irida for Frogadier and Vessel? Sure. I guess I could have turroed my Rodom. But that's fine. Yeah, I guess I could have turroed Rodom. That might not have been a bad play, to be honest with you. So I'll just Shinobi Blade for the knockout. And I'm not sure what I want to grab here. I mean, we already have most of the stuff in play. I can't really do any DT Shangans. We do have the Devo in the deck. Got to make sure Devo is not prized. I mean, if they take the first two prize KO, we do get Countercatcher. Because I probably want to use Devo to win this game. I'm trying to think what I want here. I mean, I kind of already have everything. I don't really want to go Iono. Um... Just grab another Greninja, I guess. I don't know. Supporter might have been okay. We might get Iono or something. I don't know. Let's see if they have the not uh, the attack here. Oh, nice. Double Frost Last. Okay. If my opponent does not get Dragapult here, I would really like to be able to get the uh, double Frost Last off. Because then we get triple Frost Last set up. I actually really hope that they don't knock out my uh, one of my Snow Runs here. Let's see. They need... Neo Upper Energy. They've already used Four Seal Stone. They could theoretically draw into it, though, off of either the Bibril or the Drag Cloak. So it is possible they get there. They gotta get more Dreepies, too. Maybe I could have grabbed Boss instead of Greninja. I kind of like any Greninja, though. I need to evolve all my stuff before Dragapult hits the board. So it's kind of my logic there. There's Dragapult. Ooh, it's a Neo Upper in their hand. Let's see if they can find it. They have Bibril and Recon Directive to try to dig for the Neo Upper Energy. They can't play Mela. It has to be Neo Upper. So, we'll see if they find it. There's the Dragapult. Is there a Neo Upper Energy that's going with it? I want to say hopefully not. Because I can get Triple Frost last, and I can Turo my Rodom. Okay, there's a Buddy Poffin. Probably going to get two more Dreepies. No, they get Pidgey. That's fine. No Neo Upper. Please and thank you. Let's go. They didn't even get an energy attachment. I mean, I guess they're going to have it for next turn. Now I wish I grabbed a boss, because I could have boss killed their Pidgey. Honestly, though, I kind of like hitting into the Dragapult, though. Hitting, hitting into Dragapult here is also, like, honestly pretty good. 
get triple frost last set up. And then we can earth and vessel away the cleffa. Grab some energy. Uh, attach that there. We'll Turo Rodom. And we'll Shinobi Blade. We can set up some Devo shenanigans down the road. I think that's the plan. So maybe I got boss. No, they might not get another Dragapult established, though. I actually don't know what I want here. This is kind of a tough decision. I could get another Froakie. I kind of like getting a supporter at the very least. Let me just grab an Irida. I'm not sure. I don't know what the best card to grab there. Getting boss is okay, because if they go Rare Candy Dragapult, we can, like, boss it and then hit it for 170 and then Devo both of them to knock both out, which is kind of what I want to do. But uh, Frostless is putting in a lot of work right now. The Luminion is looking pretty juicy. Maybe I should have grabbed boss, because I, I can knock up the Luminion with boss, too. Maybe I maybe I should have grabbed boss. There's the Neo Upper. It looks like it was one turn too late. Cool beans. We got to evolve all of our stuff, which is good. So that makes me happy. Evolving the stuff before the Dragapult came into play was nice. Ooh, they got the Turo. Turo Neo Upper, that's pretty good. All right, now I'm glad I didn't grab boss. I mean, grabbing boss still would have been okay, but... Do they have another rare candy in their hand? Is their hand rare candy Pidgeot? Exactly it is. Oh my god, Jesus, dude. Not like this, bro. That's crazy. Frostlass can eat away at the Pidgeot, though, so eventually it'll get knocked out. The Manaphy's gonna get knocked out, actually. I'm gonna say boss one of my Frostlass here, or Countercatcher. They actually kind of had an insane hand. They had rare candy Pidgeot with the Ultra Ball. Turo and Neo Upper Energy. That's actually kind of insane. That might be the perfect hand. That's crazy that that was actually their hand. Anyways, we can Mirage Barrage here. Knock out their Dracloak. Can't kill the active, but we can knock out Dracloak and Bibberol. I mean, we're actually, like, really far ahead. Frostlass eating away at their board is, like, actually just poggers right now. I could just knock out the active here, too. I don't know. We'll see. Where are they going to put the 6 damage? This is an interesting predicament for my opponent. Where do they put the 6 damage? Are they just going to pile it all onto a Frostlass? I think they have to, right? They got to deal with my Frostlass. Spreading it 30-30. Interesting. All right, well, we get to KO Manaphy here. Um, Bibberol's also super close to getting KO'd. Nothing I'm going to be knocking out. I could not. I, I mean, if we're Mirage Barraging, maybe we just kill the Bibberol, actually. I don't know. Manaphy is dead. We can do Mirage Barrage, so we'll see. What's our prize looking like? Another Froakie's pretty good. So we can go ahead and bench that. Can try to sub the other Greninja, too. Honestly, like, KO in the active here isn't terrible. We just, like, knock out active. Um, I guess Mirage Barraging the Dracloak and the Bibberol is tempting, because I just have to knock this every game. That's probably just the better play then, right? Yeah, honestly, this is probably just the better play. And then... We can, like, Devo for game two. No, yeah, I think this is probably just better. This is probably the better play. I think we should Mirage Barrage here. Yeah, Mirage Barrage definitely the play. Bench Froki. Do I want to play this Irida? Not, I don't really need to grab anything. Well, we got Iono to two, which is most likely going to happen. I do want to do some thinning, so we should play the Irida. I just want to thin, thin some cards out here I don't really need. Yeah. I guess I could have been Rodom too, which wouldn't have been terrible. All right. Mirage Barrage. I don't know. Kaelin the active is okay. Like, I don't know. Maybe Kaelin the active is better. I, I do think it's better to kill these two, because now all we need to do now to win the game is just Devo. Because the Frost Ass are going to set up Pidgeot to be KO'd. Yeah, I think this is probably just a better play. We just need a Devo for a game. Let's see what our prizes are here. There's Arvin. Okay. They have to Iono me here. If they don't Iono me, we win the game. We have Arvin for Devo. And I can also just kill the active. Like, this is also why Mirage Bodge is a better play, because now we just take out their bench, and now they're forced to attack Greninja with their active Dragapult. They can't attack with Pidgeot this turn, I guess. And I guess they could technically mell it to it. But we have game on the Dragapult, basically. Like, the Dragapult either dies to the first attack, or we just win here with Devo, if we can find it. So, curious to see how my opponent approaches their turn. I feel like they, they have to Iono. I feel like you have to Iono, right? Honestly, I should have played the Hyper Roma. I don't know why I didn't just burn it. I probably should have just burned it when I grabbed it. That was actually a bit of a misplay. All right, let's see what they do here. It's got to be the Iono. Surely it's an Iono, right? Is it an Iono? 
No, it's a counter catcher. They're going to KO my Greninja here. That's fine. We just win if they do that. Ursaluna. Okay, I didn't expect them to be playing Ursaluna. That changes things a little bit. We still have game on board. Ursaluna also dies to Greninja because weak to fighting. It doesn't even matter. Even the Ursaluna is weak to fighting. Ah, we're chilling. Yeah, we're big chilling here. All right. We just Devo for game. No, they had Iono or Saluna. Okay, that. And we still have game on the active because we keep fighting. It's all Gucci. Yeah, we still kill the active anyways. We keep fighting, right? Yeah, it's we keep fighting. We just knock out. We just knock out our Saluna. They have to go into another drag up pull. That's why the Mirage Barrage was so good because it just like takes out their only option. I mean, even if they KO my Greninja and I somehow didn't have game, it's really not that big of a deal. But let's see. Are they going in with your Ursuna? No, they're just going to stay in the active, and that is GG's. Yeah, it didn't look like they had much they could do there. If their only other attacker this turn was your Saluna, it didn't matter. If they had Radiant Charizard, I guess it would have been a little close. Iono Radiant Charizard would have been kind of scary, actually, if they had that instead. Because then I didn't have a response. That's fine. I'm just going to take the three prizes here. We have the Iono. So, I mean, if for whatever reason I didn't have game here, I had the ability to maybe do a bit of digging, try to get the TM Devo here. But we get to get some more damage on board with the Frostlass. Not that it matters. Frostlass already ate up all their little guys like the Manaphy. And that will be GG's. We just kill the active Dragapult here for game. So, that works for me. GG's. Yeah, this matchup's fine if you set up, like, the fact that we set up Triple Frostlass before they started attacking me was very very crucial because it allowed us to deal with their board a lot quicker and it did allow us to do some good plays there at the end right that mirage barrage did give us a clear easy uh, route to victory all right it's a loss zone deck here Ooh, so we need to set up before they run me over unfortunately i don't have a supporter in my opening hand which is a little annoying probably gonna have to get rodom here i guess no we could go cleffa putting cleffa down though against lost box is not really something i'm looking into doing though we really like a supporter, because I do want to set up my uh, Frostlass, right? We're playing against a Lost Zone deck, most likely, right? Frostlass is really good against Lost Zone, because Comfy gets eaten alive by Frostlass. So I really want to set Frostlass up. I can't really do that, though, when my hand has no supporter in it. So hopefully we can get a supporter here. I mean, we have Hurricane Eager Ninja, but no water either. Honestly, we might have to go Cleffa. They lost on a Colrus. Okay, maybe we could draw an Iono. No, I drew a third candy. That's not what I needed. Thank you, TST Live. Actually, oh, we have to get rid of two of our candies here just to play the game. Yeah, I think we got to go Cleffa. I didn't get Mana Fee, so hopefully they don't get to seven. Great starting hand. You'll love to see it. I, I love having three candies that I had to get rid of. Rip. Okay. Uh, still didn't get any supporter. What the heck? We didn't even get an energy card to go with this Greninja. It's not good. We got Frost Sauce, I guess, which is nice. Um, but not much else. Yeah, this, that was a pretty weak sauce Cleffa. Apart from getting the Greninja and the Frostlass, I kind of need energy. Oh, God. Not like this, bro. Where's my supporters at? Give me an Iono or an Irida. Just any any supporter should get me an energy card. It's really annoying, actually. I didn't get Mana Fee, so, like, if they Greninja me here, we also are screwed. Ironically, the Greninja deck getting Greninja loses us the game. Okay, Buddy Poffin's interesting. Hmm. Wouldn't they want to get more Confies down? They could just be cramming here. I wouldn't really mind my Cleffa getting KO'd. It's kind of not really something I want to have him play in this matchup because it gets KO'd by uh, Sableye super easily. They're burning Switch Card early, which is good. Makes our Frost last bit stronger. They can't heal the Confies as easily. You need to find a supporter, though, like I said. Another Switch Card gets lost zone. That's good. Oh, God, they have Pokey Stop. No. They lose a Water Energy. They get a Switch, though. Oh, God. Don't tell me they got the Greninja. If they have the Greninja here, we could be cooked. Okay, that's not a Greninja. That's a good sign. Looks like they're locked in on Cram. Hyper Blower, sure. Take my Froakie. I think we're going to have to play the Pokestop if they don't vacuum it, because I kind of need to dig for Earthen Vessel. Yeah, I think we got to go for that. Unfortunate. Ah, I need something, dude. I mean, I kind of need to attack, so I would really appreciate a supporter top deck. There we go. Iono's pretty good, too, actually. So let's go do this. We'll Nest Ball from... I should grab another Froakie. I'm debating getting Mana Fee, but, like, I have the Rickany Greninja. It's fine. We can Bench Rodom. Retreat. We can get rid of the Cleffa here. Um, I'm debating whether or not I should play the Pokestop or not. Uh... 
Yeah, I'll play it. I'm looking for an earthen vessel. Nope. Damn it. We got rid of an energy too. Rip. All right, we'll collapse. I don't know. That sucks. Give me an energy, please. I lost one. My odds aren't super high, but we got there anyways. Nice. Sick. I do need mana feet too. That's like kind of the only issue with this play is I don't have mana feet, but we also do Iona them. They're down two Colrus. The Pokestop's been... We got rid of the Pokestop now, which is good too. I'll scrap Greninja and just pray that we can get it out next turn. Super might not be bad either. The Collapse Stadium may not stick around for a turn, though. We got a Frostlass established here. We can get some extra damage on the board here onto these guys. I guess the one downside about this spot is Rodom is stuck in play because of that um, Turo we lost. So that is a bit of an issue. And unfortunately, I still Iona them into a Colrus. Are you kidding me? No. Damn, they still got a Colrus. Hate to see it. Well, depending on what, wait, what happens this turn, we have access to Mirage Barrage, which could be good. So that could be an option. They might Roaring Moon me if they're playing it. They may not be playing Roaring Moon, though. Some Lost Box decks don't play Moon. I haven't seen a Dark Energy yet, so I haven't really seen any signs of it. They get rid of a Mirage Gate and an Iron Hands. I might have to go Rare Candy Greninja, Forest Seal Stone, Rare Candy, f and then Frostlass, and then figure it out. So we just need to Iono them, especially if they knock out Greninja this turn. Iono is something I definitely want to do. They're down three Colrises, which is good. One Raikou. They could knock out my Rodom here, but I'm okay with that. Uh, Raikou could... I mean, it's not really that good, though, because the Raikou does damage, but it doesn't do enough. And it is also weak to fighting. Interesting. But yeah, it doesn't look like they're playing Roid Moon. I'm, I'm sure we would have seen a Dark Energy by now. I'm pretty sure they're not playing Roid Moon. I think they're playing just Hands, Moon, Raikou, Double Sable. Yeah, 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 they are. Okay, cool. Yep, there's their Sluna. But all of their main attackers are weak to uh, Lightning or Fighting. Okay, I was right. They are going They're going to my Rodom. Okay, that's fine. That's fine with me. I'm cool with that. I mean, low-key. Okay, well, the downside with this is now I can't use my Forest Seal Stone. Because I wanted a Mirage Barrage here. We can knock out Raikou and Sableye, which is kind of poggers. Maybe we can draw into a double turbo. Maybe? One time? Yo, DT top deck? For the squad? Nope. Not okay. Looks like we're not the kill this thing the old-fashioned way. The old boring way. Um, I do have Counter Catcher. I could Counter Catcher. There's Sableye here, which is kind of tempting, not going to lie. I'm going to Buddy Poffin for Mana Fee so they don't Greninja me. Um, I'm not really scared of Raikou, right? Counter Catcher Sableye doesn't seem terrible. Yeah, I'll go for it. And we can grab Iono with the... Yeah, we'll grab an Iono after this. That seems okay. I need to set Mirage Barrage. Which... I mean, I could attach to the active to set that play up. Sure. I want to... I just want to have options open. And we'll knock out the Sableye. I mean, they can probably still attack with Sableye next turn, like, if they find Super Odd, but still. I could still correct to kill Sableye here. Got my own. Because, like, we can also eventually just over time knock out Comfy with Frostlass. Like, killing their Sableye is good, because I want to have... I want my Frostlasses to last as long as they can. So we'll see what happens. We can Mirage Barrage next turn. We're chilling. We'll see what happens. I guess the... F Mentioning Manaphy is a little grief, because, like, they can Sableye, but they can't Sableye for two prizes either way. Um... 50, and they'd have 7. Uh, yeah, no, they can't do that. No, I guess they could. They could put 40 here, or 30 here. 30, 90. No, I guess the Frostlass Sableye, they could still Sableye my Manaphy and Frostlass. They could still take two prizes, actually. Maybe that was a misplay, actually. I don't know. If Frostlass can stick around for one extra turn, we can knock out their Comfies here, and then kill the Raikou. Okay, I think we're still in a fine spot. We have the Iono, too, which could come in clutch. Another Pokestop. Uh-oh. They get a Nest Ball. That's not good. That can get them Sableye if they have Super Rod, which I guarantee they have a Super Rod in their hand. They have not yet played one. Hopefully they don't have a Switch card. That'd be pretty bad, too. But they go Sableye. We go Iono, Mirage, Barrage, Knockout. Maybe I should have saved the Counter Catcher then, because I could have went Counter Catcher, Raikou, Iono, Mirage, Barrage. Knockout, Raikou, and Sableye in the same turn. Maybe that was the play. I don't know. 
This is a little annoying. I think we had a bench Manaphy, though, because I can't afford to lose my Frostlass, right? Sableye's just kind of annoying. I don't run Jirachi. They're grabbing the Iron Bundle. Interesting. Let's give him the other Gird Ninja. That's fine. I mean, as long as we're attacking next turn, it's not a big deal. Yeah, it's fine. As long as we're attacking, it's not that big of a deal. Oh, are they just going to swing with Raikou, maybe? No, they have Pow Pad in their deck. Damn it. That's annoying. Now my Iono is not going to be as effective. Damn it. That sucks. <sighs> okay, well, if they go Raikou here, that's fine. Well, the good news is, um, I think we just win, right? Yeah, I think we just have game. Because we knock out Raikou, and then the Comfies also get knocked out by Frostlass. All right, never mind. We have a game. We have a game. We didn't get Sableye. That's game. All right. We win. Because, yeah, we just knock out Raikou and Frostlass. KOs. The two Comfies for a whopping four prize turn. Not too shabby. No, we don't get to take the four prizes, bro. They scoop. All right, whatever. We had game there. Like I said, Frostlass KOs two Comfies. Lost Zone decks are not bad for this deck because you have Frostlass. My downside, like, the downside is, I should say, you need to get your Frost Sauces out before they get KO'd by Sableye or Greninja. All right, my opponent's got a Monkey Dory. This could be Gardevoir, which is a bad matchup, potentially. We do have an okay star. We have Irida, um, Rare Candy, Greninja, Water Energy, Hyper Roma. The hand's actually pretty solid overall. Though I wouldn't mind maybe getting, like, a, another basic down or two. Wouldn't be terrible. Rub against Blissey. Ooh, that's unfortunate. This matchup is like almost an auto win just because Greninja hits for weakness. We'll see if they have any shenanigans. So they could have Mew EX. I have seen Blissey list play Mew before. That could help, but it's a pretty bad matchup for my opponent. I kind of feel bad. It's kind of kind of a silly bad matchup. I don't even really need to put Frostlass in play, to be honest with you. I don't even know if I bother because like they have the monkey dory. It doesn't really matter too much. Yeah, I don't think it matters. That was a good top deck. All right. Yeah, I, I, don't, I actually don't think we need to put Frostlass down. I might just grab Rodom if it's in there. Yep. Yeah, I, I yeah Frostlass may not be necessary just because of how this matchup plays out. All right. Spread the energy. We'll Nest Ball. Grab Rodom. And those instant charge. Yeah, because of the Monkey Dories, there's not really a reason to grab Frostlass, right? So we'll see. We do have the rare Kenny Greninja. They could Iono me here, of course. They could play an Iono. Nope. Arvin. I don't know if I should have put the energy on the bench. I was just, like, anticipating that they might knock me out in the active spot, and then I won't have an energy, which might have been a good call because I don't have an energy off that Rodom, so maybe it was a good call to do that. They're going for the Turbo Energize here. Okay. I mean, they got to have some kind of, like, Psychic Attacker because... We are probably just going to cook them. They could play Mew, so that's one thing we got to be mindful of. I guess they can use Monkey Dory as an attacker, technically. All right, let's see what we draw. Mana Fee isn't very good. Honestly, I could just instant charge again. Just load my hand back up. It's kind of tempting, not going to lie. I can't knock out the, the chain through this turn. Um. Yeah, honestly, I might just instant charge. I'm thinking about it. I can Turo, Greninja, Knockout, Monkey, Dory. Then they hit me with Blissey. But then I just kill the Blissey, right? Okay, let me play this. Then another deck a little bit. So we don't really need Frost last in this matchup, like I said. Go Frogadier. Greninja. Yeah, and this way if they put Blissey down, I can just boss KO it. Or not. I still don't have an energy or any way to move my uh, Greninja to the bench. All right, never mind. We are not doing that then. Not until we find a switching card here. Poke Gear, they could Iono. Nope. Are they even going to get anything here? Let's see. Yeah, we can also save the Turo to like heal Greninja too, make the matchup even harder for my opponent. That's also kind of part of the idea. All right, let's see what they got. Three cards in hand. Do they have a Blissey? They failed the Poke Gear, so that's like a good sign. Okay, they did have an Iono. So there goes our two bosses' orders, but it is what it is. Can we find anything good off the Iono? There we go. There's the energy. There's a Chansey. We can actually Mirage Barrage here. Knock out the... Uh... Ooh, they're playing the Giraffe Rig. That's not going to do too much, though, in this matchup for my opponent. We can just knock out... 
probably Chansey Monkey Dory, to be honest. I could also just kill two Monkey Dories, but I, I kind of like just killing... No, but the oh, the damage reduction, actually, I lied. Maybe we do just retreat in Shinobi Blade, actually. Yeah, we're not... We can knock out Giraffe Rig. We can't knock anything else out. Okay, maybe, yeah, we, I'm, I'm fine. Just okay, we'll just retreat. We'll save the switch in case they confuse me with Mind Bend. You never know. I'll just Shinobi Blade for... Probably Arvin, I guess. Seems good. I mean, I have Vessel. I could go Turo. Yeah, we'll Turo. Because we can... If they go Blissey here, we can heal the Greninja and then Turo it and attack again. I'm kind of down for that. Let's see what our prize is. Hey, there's a snow run. Yeah, we don't really need Bliss or yeah, Blissey. We don't really need Frostlass in this matchup just because they have the Monkey Dories. And if anything, I basically give them more damage. So there's no reason to ever play down at Frostlass. Okay, they finally drew an Ultra Ball. Is it going to be a little too late, though? They can get the Blissey here, but we'll see what they're able to do here with the Blissey. Because we can just one-shot it. Even with the Rigid Band, it still gets KO'd, right? You see, we need to do 150 damage. Or do we not have a... Wait, do we not have a KO, though? No, we do. Okay, I'm just making sure. I was like, wait, what if we don't have a KO? All right, so we'll bench that, I guess. We'll Vessel away the energies. Or the Cleffa. Grab the energies, I mean. And then we'll Turo... Yeah, Turo is pretty good. Just reset the damage they did. Feels pretty dirty. Then we can just probably just get another Greninja here with the uh, Shinobi Blade. We just take our knockout. They could have Hero's Cape, I guess. That's like maybe the only issue. They could be playing a Hero's Cape, which could help them a little bit more. All right, we'll see what our prizes entail for us. One and three, what do you got for me? Pretty good prizes. Four Steel Arvin, or Yurda, sorry, is pretty good. I'll take it. They have to go for Rigoraf here, I guess. But uh, they can't even attack me with Rigoraf. Because they don't have a Psychic Energy in play. They had a Psychic Energy. They could win Happy Switch plus Double Turbo Attach. Rigoraf is a Dark type, though. Yeah, it doesn't hit for weakness against Greninja, which kind of sucks. It just doesn't help this matchup. I mean, I mean to be fair, like, Greninja's not really a deck that's super popular on the ladder. It just, it's unfortunate that Blissey literally just gets destroyed by Greninja. Because it's, it's really not a popular deck. They can get Hero's Cape here, which I think they have to do. Yeah, I think they got to get a Hero's Cape. But now we can grab... I mean, I, I still don't think we need Frost Lass. There's literally no point when they have Monkey Dory. Yeah, I don't think we really need the Frost Lass. Actually, Hero's Caping the, for Rigoraf. Interesting, they're not Hero's Caping the Blissey. Interesting. All right, well. Does this thing have resistance to fighting? Nope. We are two-shotting it, so we may as well go for it. Hopefully they're not playing TM Devo, I guess. I could Mirage Barrage here. We can maybe set that up for later. All right, let me do this. Nest Ball. Grab another Froki. Not a Shinobi Blade. I'm not really going to bother with the Yurda. I think it really matters at this point. We'll just grab... If we grab Frostlass, would it make a difference with Mirage Barrage? No, it wouldn't. Yeah. I guess now they can Monkey Dory some of the damage off. I grab Devo, I guess. I don't think that really matters, but sure. You never know. We don't really need to grab too much right now. Hmm. Honestly, maybe we should go for Frostlass. Because what I could do here... Oh, never mind. I was going to say, maybe we could go Irida for Frostlass, Mirage Barrage, knock out the Monkey Dories. I wonder, honestly, that might just be better than just trying to take the two prizers out. That might just be the better play. Just go after the monkey dories. Okay, well, it's a little too late for that play to work now. We don't have the uh, ability to do that anymore. I don't even think this Frigraph is attacking, though. It's just kind of sitting there not doing much. This matchup is just really bad for my opponent, because if they go Blissey, then I just knock him out. Frigraph doesn't attack me this turn. I am two-shotting it. Or actually, now I'm three-shotting it because of the Monkey Dory. Okay, yeah, maybe I should have went for the Monkey Dory then, to be honest. All right, well, I don't think we're going to be able to take that play back, unfortunately. There's Super Rod. I'll say Yono, I guess. I might just have to hit the active this turn. Now we got Arvin and Candy for next turn. It's not bad. All right, we can just do this. Maybe I'll just get DT with this. I mean, we just... 
Can we just win next turn, right? Yeah, yeah. So we'll grab DT. Because what we can do next turn is as long as we do not get Ionote here, we can Mirage Barrage plus Arvin for Frostlass, knock out the Frigraph in the active spot. And then, well, they could... No, they can... No, no, they can't. Okay. So here's what I'm thinking. So next turn we go... If they don't Iono me, we go Arvin for Frostlass. Or I guess Force Seal Stone for Frostlass. We grab the Frostlass. And we Mirage Barrage. And the 10 damage from the Frostlass will be able to enough to kill the Monkey Dory. And even the Frigraph will get knocked out. Even though they are about to heal 60 damage from this thing. Okay, that's actually pretty good. So maybe there is more value in Frostlass than I expected. Because we can literally win the game in one turn. Now if my opponent goes into Blissey this turn, then that's a little awkward. Because I can't hit this thing. But I guess I can still win, right? No, I can't. I need to be able to boss and grab Frost last in the same turn. It's a little awkward. Okay, we'll see what happens. But yeah, I, I think this is the play. As long as they don't go with a third Monkey Dory here, we can knock out the Frigraph in the active spot and KO one of the Monkey Dories. We have game. If, well, they also have the Iono me too. If they Iono me, then we don't have this. We don't have the win. Rigid Band, that's not enough. Is there another Monkey Dory or an Iono? If they don't have it, we are going to be able to win here with the Mirage Barrage. I'll say retreat. They can't really retreat, though. They're bossing me here. Okay, rip. Oh, they're going after... Okay, that doesn't really matter then. Okay. <laughs> I was like, oh, what are they doing? They Actually, if they kill my snow run, then I can't win this turn. I don't... I guess they don't see that play, to be fair. Yeah, I guess I didn't see the play. Maybe they're trying to Devo here, actually. But yeah, that's game. We can just star alchemy here. Grab ourselves a Frostlass. And the frost has damage will be enough to knock out the Farigaraf and the Monkey Dory. Yeah, I'm just making sure everything checks out. We're all good. All right. See so yeah, how we win. Because the 10 damage will be enough to KO, so. Or, wait, is it is it still bugged? Oh, no, it's still bugged. Wait, I didn't even need the frost last. No. <laughs> Apparently, Mirage Barrage should only be doing 100 damage there, not 120 because of the double turbo. Should technically be reducing the damage, right? Double turbo should reduce some damage. So technically, I should have only been doing 100 damage there instead of 120. And then the Frost Ass would have KO'd both Monkey Dory and Fregoraf. They both would have had 110 HP left. But math issues kind of got in the way. I'm pretty sure Mirage Barrage is glitched there. I'm pretty sure it's only supposed to do 100 damage. All right. Looks like we're up against Raging Bolt. All right. Hopefully, we get a Buddy Buddy Poffin. Nope. Oh, God. Uh, I don't like my Froki's chances of living. I hate to do this. We're going to have to retreat into the... Rodom V. That feels really bad, but my uh, Froki's going to get KO'd by the Sandy Shocks. And all right, we do get an Arvin and a Rare Candy. We can guarantee Greninja next turn and attack and whatnot. But yeah, we're up against Raging Bolt, which is probably one of our worst matchups, to be honest, just because Raging Bolt does um, one-shot us easily. So it's not as not as ideal. And our start is also a little... Little weak. It would have been good to get a Buddy Buddy Poff in there. Not getting that turn on Buddy Poff in feels pretty bad, but uh, maybe my opponent whiffs a knockout. Honestly, I'm wondering if I maybe should have just stayed in the active because I could have just at least went to Cleffa for a turn. But at that point, I'm already down two prizes. It just doesn't feel very good. So I think it's fine. Just put Rodom in the active. Sandy Shocks does not hit for weakness with its first attack. They have to go into Raging Bolt here to kill my Rodom. So we can just retreat next turn. Could even just Arvin for a Buddy Poff in and just retreat into like a Cleffa or something. Just. Bring something else into the active. Maybe that's the better play. I mean, we'll see. Do they have anything else? It's a fine energy. They can hit me for 20 damage. Maybe. Oh, they have a Poke Gear. They get an Iono. That's a little annoying. I had a decent hand. It's kind of annoying they're Ionoing me here. But it's better than them knocking me out, which is now not going to happen, most likely, because they're playing Iono. So that's fine. Double Buddy Poffin's pretty good. I'll take it. We even got an energy for the Froki. We can turn this into this guy, maybe. All right, this isn't this isn't too bad. I'll take it. Well, I do want to retreat, though. Yeah, I do want to retreat. I could... Yeah, I think we're just going to have to retreat. I don't know. We'll see. We can probably just Cleffa this turn, to be honest. That's probably what I'm going to do. There's Squawkabilly. It's pretty good that they found that now. Oh, boy. All right, they only have one Raging Bolt in play, though, which is honestly really good for us. Them having just a single Raging Bolt in play does help me a little bit, so that's not too bad. But they've already got a lot of energy out. They got three energy in play. They're already going to be doing 90 damage to me, which is kind of crazy. Turn one, 90 damage. It's kind of insane. Without using a Sada. There's a Pokestop. Are they going to roll it? 
Are they going to play the Pokestop? Let's see. Will they give it a spin? And if they do, they're going to lose good cards, hopefully. Nope, they have a Vessel first. All right, that's fine. Yeah, this is crazy, bro. Raging Bolt just does so much in one turn. It's ridiculous. All right, let's see. Do they have anything else? Is there anything else going on, or is that it? Let's see. Hopefully, that's all they got. Pokestop. I mean, they basically got Energy Retrieval. That's probably what they wanted. Anything else? Or are we finally getting a turn? All right. Yeah, 90 damage turn one. Jeez. Yo, chill. It doesn't two-shot me, though, which is good. Nice. No run top deck's pretty sick. So let's Buddy Poffin. Yeah, I think we're just going to get Cleffa here. I might go into Cleffa. I want to get energy on the other Greninja, though. Um, But, like, we're probably going to get knocked out. I think we just go into Cleffa. I guess I could Irida for a switch. Yeah, I guess I guess we just do this. Irida for switch. Plus grab Frogadier. Honestly, that seems pretty good. And this way we don't have to give up an energy. I'm going to Cleffa. Should I attach to Frogadier? They might Prime Catcher here. That's my... They're probably going to kill Frogadier. I'll spread the energy out. We should be able to Cleffa into a rare candy, right? So this other Greninja, so I'm just going to Cleffa. Yeah, I got Arvin. Sick. Spread the energy out. They could boss my Frogadier. Um, they can knock out Frogadier with the Sandy Shocks, which is kind of annoying. Over Raging Bolt, so that's kind of... And they play Pokemon Catcher. Yikes. If that flips heads, that's pretty bad. No, <laughs> it flips heads. Not my Frogadier. Oh, they actually go after my Rodom. That makes sense. They can just knock out Rodom with Power Gem. Yeah, the Raging Bull matchup, it just sucks for this type of deck, dude. Just, we're just, we're too, we're not slow, but we're also, like, a little bit more passive. And they're just completely just blowing up my board with a jillion energy. I don't know what I'm supposed to do in this scenario. Like, maybe I have to try to go Counter Catcher, Greninja, hit that Raging Bull for 170. I feel like we're too far behind now to maybe even have a chance of winning. It feels like the game's just maybe over, to be honest with you. It actually feels like the game might just be over. This is really bad. It actually feels like the game is just legit over. It's so bad. This matchup is abysmal for this deck. There's not much you can really do about a bad matchup, though. You just have to take it. You just have to take it. They didn't flip heads on Catcher, and they just killed my Cleffa. It would have been a little bit better, obviously, but... We just got randomly cheesed by a Pokemon catcher. I mean, what do you want me to do? Match is literally... Like, I literally think the game's just over. Because they just have Raging Bull in the background. Just nukes my Greninja. This is so bad. Yikes. Having the Rodom in play kind of cost us a bit in the end here. But we needed it. I'm probably at the Iono, to be honest with you. Okay, that was a good top deck. I think with the Iono here. I don't want to put the Collapse down. So we're just going to grab Greninja. I need to find Counter Catcher this turn. I do have Boss. I could Boss Raging Bolt and then I own it to the following turn. That's not bad, actually. They don't have... Um... Honestly, I actually don't hate that. Because, like, they don't have another Raging Bolt in play. I feel like the I own it to does nothing, though, and there's a Pokestop in play. Okay, on the Sandy Shop doesn't really do anything for me, though. I mean, Iono Counter Catcher would be nice, but maybe we do Iono the following turn. I don't know. This might be my only play, to be honest. We can just grab a rare candy with this. I need to get damage on the Raging Bolt. We're never one-shotting Raging Bolt, so, like, that's also kind of bad, right? We're never KOing the Raging Bolt in one hit, which also makes this pretty bad. You make sure we get a Water Energy next turn. We may whiff the Water Energy, which is really bad, too. This has to be the play, right? Iono next turn. I don't think that's... I mean, it's not really going to do much, but this might be my only play. This matchup is abysmal. Them getting the two prize KO on my road on there with the catcher heads is so bad. The fact that it was Sandy Shocks is really bad too. Like, it's just... We're just in a really bad predicament right now. Switch card. That's fine. They're obviously going to KO me here. I think that really makes a difference, right? Yeah, switch card doesn't matter too much this matchup. It's fine. This is basically the Greninja Frost. This is deck one biggest weakness. It has a really bad Raging Bolt matchup. And you're just seeing... Just how bad the matchup is. Like, my opponent didn't even use Raging Bolt. They used Sandy Shocks in their first turn, and it basically allowed them to still take a huge lead against me. It's so bad, dude. This matchup is pretty bad for Greninja. If only we could one to KO them. We just don't have a way to one to kill the, the Raging Bolt. It doesn't have an ability, so there's no way we can do extra damage with Frost Slash. 
They do unlimited damage. It's it's tough, man. This is one of Greninja's biggest weaknesses. Just playing against just decks like this that just blow you up. We can try to do something though with the Siono. If they don't play Palpad here, it's good. Now I'm kind of wishing I kept the Clap Stadium. Honestly, maybe I should have, but everything else in the hand was kind of important, right? So I kind of had to get rid of the Clap Stadium. Keeping Clap Stadium could have been relevant. Because Pokestop should give them a Poke Gear next turn. I mean, they've played literally one, right? They're just going to find a Poke Gear probably off the Poke Stop. Oh, or no, they're going to burn a Poke Gear. Okay, if you want to stack your hand with supporters, be my guest. All right, that's fine with me. We need a not with a water energy here, though. Mm, I might with water. We'll see. If I don't get a water energy, we do probably lose the game. If I can kill the Raging Bolt, I think we may have a chance of staying in this game. But honestly, I don't know. It's not looking good. <laughs> it's not looking good. Killing the Raging Bolt is an important part of the process, though. This might not be enough. The Pokey Stop just kind of is killer, too. It's got to be an Iono and Prey Angle. Okay, let's see what our top deck is. If I get the other Greninja, it might be a little bit better. That might honestly be better to get the other Greninja at this point in time. Can we draw a Greninja? Nope. I could Pokey Stop to try to rip an Ultra Ball? Yeah, I'm going to go for it. Screw it. At this point, I think I have to. Nope, but it's fine. Got a buddy Poffin that can thin the deck out. Grab some more lads. I mean, I'm going all in. We didn't hit an energy off that Pokestop, which gives me hope. So we're going all in. All right, Iono. I guess I could I could counter catch with the Sandy Shocks. Actually, wipe three energy off the board. That's not bad either. No, we whiffed the energy. Oh god. Whiffing energy here is killer. That is, yeah, it's pretty much like, that might be game over. We did not get a, we didn't get an energy for the Greninja. Oh, it's so over. It is definitely over now. That's, yeah, that's really bad. Yeah, whiffing energy there, I think we'll lose us the game. If we got a knockout, I legit think we could have made a comeback happen. But now I think it's impossible to win this game because we just, we whiffed energy. Yeah, I don't I don't see a way out of this folks. It's not looking good. It's not looking good. They can just win this turn. If they just find a Sada, they're probably gonna win the game, to be honest with you. Earth and Vessel. They have Greninja. Do they even have energy left though, to be honest? They are down. Okay, they only have level one fighting, that's fine. It's fine. That's fine. Hmm. We'll cook something up. Not even, like, getting a double turbo would have been okay, because I could have put that on Froakie, and then I could try to go with the other Greninja, too, and Mirage Barrage. Knock out Squawkabillion, this guy, or something. <sighs> it's rough. I mean, if I make this comeback happen, it's definitely going to be pretty impressive, but it's not looking good. If I get a, if I whiff the KO, we might lose, and we did, so we'll see what happens. It's not looking good. Oh, and they still got Sada anyways. Damn. They are out of energy, though, it looks like. They still have Pokey Stop. If they literally just draw an energy retrieval, I lose the game. Like, if they literally get an energy retrieval, I lose. So bad, dude. Yeah. If I got the KO there, maybe we had a chance of winning the game. But we just got really unlucky. There you have, folks. That is Grid Ninja EX with Frostlass in action. I'm definitely a big fan of the concept of this deck. Frostlass actually really impresses me the more I play it. I mean, that ability is just really evil for a lot of decks. I mean, you saw in multiple matches just being able to apply a lot of pressure with Freezing Shroud is good, especially when your opponent benches Mana Fee. Because whenever you see a Greninja EX, you're going to bench that Mana Fee preemptively. But when you have the ability to just punish them with Frostlass, it feels pretty good. Outside of just probably a weak Raging Bolt matchup, the deck actually feels decent. And uh, Greninja EX is still a pretty pretty underrated card for sure. A lot of potential with Greninja, and I can't wait to try out more Greninja EX decks in the future. And I definitely wanted to give Greninja Frostlass a try because I have gotten a ton of requests to try this deck, and I'm down. I'm, I'm glad that I was able to get some action in with Greninja Frostlass today. But if you all enjoyed this video here on Greninja EX Frostlass, make sure to leave a like on the video. If you're new to the channel, subscribe down below. Help me on the road to reaching 61 slash 70,000 subscribers. Um, yeah. Appreciate all the support on the Twilight Masquerade content so far. If you're going to get any Twilight Masquerade codes, get them over at Card Cabin and use code LDF. And check out my second channel down below, too, for some extra content. Gotta love any IC content going up on the second channel. So definitely check out the second channel. Link down below. And that'll be for me on the Greninja deck. Hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you all later. Bye-bye.